Hi, I'm Kelly from Kelly Jones Jewellery. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this cute little pendant. It's quite easy to do, it's only got one base wire. I've got a list in the description below of everything you'll need to make this, including all the usual links, Facebook, Instagram and my shop. Where I'm coming, currently running a 15% off on all of my written tutorials. If any of you are interested in that, and please subscribe if you haven't already, if you want to see more free tutorials made by me. To make this pendant you'll need 0.8mm wire which is 20 gauge and I've cut one length of 8.5 inches, that's 22 centimetres. You'll need weaving wire, I've got 0.3mm, that's 28 gauge and you'll need about 100 centimetres. Wound mine onto a bobbin. If you don't have a bobbin you can just cut lengths as you go. This is a Bobby's bobbin by Bede Smith. Today I'm using a front drilled um, stone you can use. I think you could use any shape with this design. It's got a little hole drilled in the front towards the top. So anything that's kind of drilled like that will work. Any size as well will work with that. Tools, I've got the pliers, my cutters and my round nose pliers and I'll put a list in the description below of all these things including um, the types of tools that I'm using. I'm using Tronix. I don't put links anymore but I'll put the names of the tools if you want to search for them. Oh and I'm going to be using a little 3mm bead as well. So we're just using one piece of wire so we've got a nice simple quick one for you today. So find the centre of your wire I think mine's about there. Thread your bead onto it. I say bead. You drilled stone. You need to find the the bit you want to be the front and the bit for the back. Pop that on there. Bend both wires up. Because my stone's got a point, I'm going to go slightly to the side. And you want to bring your wire, your back wire, over the top of your stone. So the back wire comes to the front. And then take your pliers and we're going to bend the wire up here so that both wires now sit next to each other. So if your stone comes to a point at the top you could do it to the side like me or if it's flat you could do it straight up. Very versatile this little design is. As long as you've got a hole drilled three stone, you can do you can do this design. So take your weaving wire and we're gonna wrap three times around that bottom wire. And then we're going to go three times around both wires and that's going to be our repeat. So we're going to do three wraps around the bottom wire, three wraps around both wires and we'll do that, we'll do that about 12 times. So I'm going to take this opportunity to say thanks for watching another one of my videos. And please mention me, Kelly Jones Design, when you're sharing your work online that's made from my tutorials. And you'll see quite a few ads as you're watching these tutorials because they're free to you. All you have to do is watch a few adverts and then I can keep giving you all these free tutorials. So thanks everybody for watching and subscribing and following and supporting me on Facebook too. We do appreciate you guys. 
So I've done 12 repeats of that weave. Cut the tail end off from the beginning, flatten down the sharp bit. So if your weave's coming straight up at the base now, you need to bend it over to the right a little. And then we'll bend the weave over to the left. We're going to make a big loop in the top. Like that, so we've got a big loop. So take the top wire here and we're going to bend it around. And when you get to there, we're going to add the bead to the wire. When you're buying these little beads, you just have to make sure that the center hole is large enough to fit onto your wire. And then bend your wire around. But it, so it comes back to sit next to that original wire. And then we'll carry on weaving across the two wires. So we're just going to continue to do the same weave. Three wraps around the two wires. Three wraps around the single wire. And you do have to be careful when you're working with these front drilled stones because you can break the stone if you're pulling on it a bit too much. Like I just did, that's why I'm not using a slightly different stone now. I just broke my stone. So I've added repeat to that. And now I'm going to take this weave. I'm going to scoop it up a bit. And then holding it so it's nice and central and the loop is nice and central at the top, we're going to take the weave around the back. And then still holding it all central, we're going to take the weave all the way around to the front. So I want it to come across the front here, so I need to add a few weave repeats. So I've added a few weave repeats there. And I've bent it around to the front. And now I'm going to cut the weaving wire. I'm going to keep a little bit of length still attached. So I'm going to take my weaving wire up behind that weave because we need to attach this, we need to strap it down so it's all secure. We'll take that wire straight up the back and I'm going to go underneath this bead. So I'm taking the wire around the bead wire but below the bead and then I'm going to post it back down behind the original weave. So I've just gone once around that bead wire below the bead just as like an anchor point to tie it down. And then I'll add, I'll carry on with the weave. And I'll add a few more repeats onto that weave. So keep pushing your weave together to keep it tidy. <clears throat> so now I'm going to cut that weaving wire.
I'm going to cut this bottom wire quite long so I can do a nice curl on the bottom there. And then take you around those pliers. And I grip the wire right on the tip. And curl the tip around quite tight. And then carefully bring that wire around to make a nice curl. And then this one is going to have a really tiny curl. So I'm going to grab that one again on the very tip and do a tight, tiny curl, pushing it back towards the stone. And I forgot we're going to mention we're going to need a jump ring. I always do that. So we're going to need a jump ring. Mine is going to be 8mm outside measurement. There we go. I've added my little jump ring on there nice little pendant for you and I've done um, a series of these front drilled stones over in my Etsy shop so I've done four little tutorials on front drilled stones so if you've got a few knocking about you might want to try some of my other designs the written tutorials are like a bunch of pictures and descriptions and you just follow it along at your own pace also I've put a load of cheap jewellery I say cheap I've put a load of jewellery on my Etsy shop at the moment and I've marked it all down so if you want a piece of my jewellery either like this with the front drilled or in a little heart shape i've put all those on at just 25 pounds so that's about 34 dollars i think that works out to be at the moment so if you do fancy a piece of my jewellery get yourself on over to etsy thanks everybody and i'll see you in the next one bye <laughs>